Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Anthony's. Today is Wednesday, the 9th of September. Our Mass is offered for Dale Fletcher, and we memorialize St. Peter Claver, priest. St. Peter Claver, a Spanish Jesuit, followed the call to the missions. In the year 1616, he was ordained a priest at Cartagena, Colombia, which was then the center of the black trade in South America. He worked among the black slaves who were brought there, as many as 10,000 a year. St. Peter Claver devoted his life to relieving their misery with medicines and food and with zealous concern for their spiritual welfare. Peter's competence was of that of a faithfully serving the slaves in charity with the help of God. He was able to offer them an authentic Christian witness and work for their salvation, teaching them religious and moral truths, which Christ illumined with his light. It is said that over a period of about 40 years, Peter Claver instructed and baptized over 30,000 slaves. He was ill and exhausted during the last four years of his life, and he died at Cartagena on September the 9th, 1654. Those who previously looked on him with scorn on his work called his zeal indiscreet and his energy wasted, vied with one another to honor his memory. He was canonized by Pope Leo XIII in 1888. We pray through his intercession for an end to all racial hatreds so that we may love each other as brothers and sisters. Welcome to Kansas number 545 sing a new song, verses 1 and 3. into light. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you led us to the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
O oh God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves, and be strengthened, and strengthen him with wonderful charity and patience. As he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress. That is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life. And I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them. Those weeping as not weeping. Those rejoicing as not rejoicing. Those buying as not owning. Those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial song. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen, Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ears. Hear, O oh daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people. And your father's house so shall the king desire your beauty for he is your lord and you must worship him listen, listen to, to me daughter, daughter. see and bend your, your ears all glorious is the king's daughter as she enters her raiment is threaded with spun gold in embroidered apparel she is borne in to the king behind her the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter. daughter. See, See they, bend they, bend your ear. Ear. they are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king, the place of your fathers your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen, Listen to, to me, daughter. daughter. See, See and bend, bend your ears. Ear. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Rejoice and leave for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes toward the his disciple, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, 
when they exclude you and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when they speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophet in this same way, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For all those who do not live in this area, in Walford area, we recently have a fire since last night. It's been a lot hot, hot, hot wind blowing, which only fumed the fire even worse. So this morning, all around Walport and the northwest area around here, been great haze, air been be beautiful, I mean difficult to breathe, and areas around here have lost electricity. Because of the winds. Yes, the high wind. My question to you is, What are your thoughts on all this, Aggie? What are my thoughts about the smoke? The smoke and everything that's going on here. I don't really tell you anything particular. It's just one of those things that happens, and this is really strange. Yes, it never happened to us before. Ooh. I don't know about you, but my thought was, what else can go wrong? This well, year, 2020, too. is an interesting year. Yeah. We've had COVID-19, we had riots, in the big cities, in Portland and other cities, we have presidential election, a crazy presidential election, and now we have the fire going on here. And of course, I just heard not long ago, my seminary, Mama Mata, Mount Angel, is may have to evacuate, you know, evacuate. And my friend last night in Telemo, they were worried about all last night that they may have to evacuate the house. And I thought to myself, boy, what a crazy world that we live in. And you know, in this trying time, and this morning someone asked me, are we going to have mass, Father? And I thought to myself, boy, this is a time we need mass even more. Why do we need mass even more? We need more prayer. We need more prayer, we need more prayer and ask God to help us. Literally, in this hour of darkness. Because for those of you who do not live in this area, it's literally dark all this morning, and finally we're getting a little light. Not much of light, of course, just a lot of haze right there. Air has been difficult to breathe. So I feel terrible for people who have asthma, breathing, respiratory problem. I can only imagine how difficult it is for them. So I've been kind of cooped up indoors. Most of us, I would imagine, are indoor today. If we're lucky enough to have electricity and internet, which I feel very blessed to have that. And I thought to myself, today's reading, blessed are the poor, for they will be satisfied. We hear a situation over and over our blessing for people who are grieving, suffering, and hurting. What's going to happen to them? That they will rejoice someday. And this message is based upon what? What is it based upon? For their ancestors treated the prophet. What is it based upon? Hope. Hope better times are coming. That in the midst of darkness, Christ will make it, will carry us through. And I know the good, the, the, how we, the normal days will come, in, or at least normal as can be, as 2020 can be, <laughs> yeah, right. when we finally actually have some, some light and we can actually breathe. For me, it's shocking because here we are in the ocean, you know, with a lot of water around us on one side. One would think with that much ocean, the whole Pacific, we will get plenty of fresh air coming in. Yeah. That this will blow away. Well, apparently, it's not. It's not the case. And so, you know, in, in our life too, we may have those say that think to us, I don't know about me, about you, but I thought to myself, when the rain, when it rains, it really falls. And how true it is in this moment, in the course of our life, that in the midst of darkness, we need Jesus even more. It's not the time to be discouraged, to lose hope, but to firmly hold on Christ even more so. 
And oftentimes, you know, that's how we are we shine forth as Christian. Be a hope, a symbol of hope for one another. To be a symbol of hope, what does it take? What does it take? Positive. Positive. But is it hard to stay positive if uh, if light doesn't come tomorrow? The fire continues to rage. Keep praying. Yeah, keep praying. We know it's going to end. Yeah, it's going to end. That's. Because how do you know it will end? What start is yeah. always an end. There's a, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately everything is in God's hands. Yeah. That's our firm faith that you know everything is in God's hands. That everything will be good. And the silver lining for me in all this is I tell you is that I have to say, I'm not gonna take clean air for granted anymore. Yeah, right. That's the silver lining for me. I'm not gonna take a clear blue sky anymore. Yeah. This past months, we have just been blessed with beautiful weather that I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And then you go out for a walk today and it's a whole lot different. It's a whole lot <laughs> different world. And it makes you appreciate the day when I can finally soon, hopefully, it's very soon, breathe clean air again. I can finally go out and just take the normal things of life that I won't take it for granted. Right. And so, you know, my brothers and sisters in life, oftentimes, it takes tough time for us to appreciate the little blessings that we have in our life, whether it be clean air, blue sky, or good health. Our good health mm -hmm. to appreciate what God's given us. And so today, my brothers and sisters, I just invite you to join with me to pray those for those who are deeply affected by this fire, who have lost their, their homes and a danger of evacuation, of, of losing their homes, and those who live, who have a trouble breathing today, those who are struggling, that the Lord may be with them. Grant them peace and joy in the midst of trying, trying times and know that the Lord will indeed deliver them from the darkness into his light. Amen. Trusting in God's love and mercy, let us turn to him now for all our needs and all the needs of the world. For Pope Francis, for Alexander, our bishop, and all our priests, bishops, and deacons, may God's grace be upon them to help them to lead and guide their people from darkness into light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all those who are greatly affected by this fire, windstorm, and heat that they know the Lord's with them, that comfort and the Lord's help may be delivered to them soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all the prayers that concern the worries that lie deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all our brothers and sisters who have gone before us, trusting and believing God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving, compassionate Father, accept the prayers of your family gathered here. Help each and every one of us, O oh Lord, to turn to you, that in doing so, may we experience your love and your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 376, Servant Song.
covenant of my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of, of blessed Peter Plever, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your hearts. We live lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer a sure sign of your love, that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I gave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And let us offer to their sight peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is his servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you. He will put that servant in charge of all his property.
eating of the heavenly table, almighty God. Confirm and increase strength from on high. All who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Claver, that they that we may persevere in integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be sure to join us on Saturday for online mass, live streaming mass at 4 p.m. on Saturday. That's each Saturday. Also, many thanks for your financial support to our parents during this trying time. And if you'd like, I'd like to attend daily mass, please email the office. We have mass available for you that you can attend from Monday to Thursday at 4 p.m. And if you have signed up but no longer able to attend, please let us know. And if you'd like to make a mass intention, please email or snail mail your request to the office. And remember, if you'd like to make an appointment for confession, my email address is on our webpage on the back of the bulletin. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking and ruin souls. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 567, Join in the Dance, verses 1, 2, and 5. 